So as I was thinking about my background and I was thinking about all these different jobs, I was reflecting on, on my, my professional career and thinking, you know, which of these jobs had the most profound impact on me as an individual? Anybody want to take a guess? Of these choices, what do you think had the most profound impact? Just yell it out. Baseball. 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 Is it that obvious? <laughs> okay. So I, I, was like, I was enlightened when I thought about this. And so, uh, so I'm going to take you back to, let's call it 1987. Um, I was, you know, a 13-year-old kid. Um, you know, I thought it was pretty hot shit back then. I, you know, but I was, you know, scrawny, sporting the bowl cut. I would go to these baseball card shows uh, about once every um, two weeks, and I would, I would take my baseball cards and in like a, in a milk crate, and I lug them to the, to the, to the, to the baseball card show, and I set up this table, and, um, and I remember. Um, like borrowing 30 bucks from my parents to buy the, this glass display case um, to make it look like professional. Like people are not going to see this 13 year old kid, you know, selling baseball cards and think I'm not a professional. But anyway, so I, st I was doing these, these baseball card shows, making some money, and, um, and it was, it was, it was eye-opening because I'm, I'm now reflecting back on that experience. And what I, you know, what I came to realize was the baseball card market itself was my first exposure to illiquid assets, to inefficient markets. And what's really interesting about it is that um, that market was basically, it was fixed. Uh, so you had these dealers who professionally made money off of buying and selling baseball cards, and then you had collectors, and you had these collectors, me and you know, other young people and older people, would buy these cards from these, collector, from these dealers. And it always surprised me that somehow, some way, these dealers knew like two weeks before when the pricing guide came out every month, which were going to be the hot cards, which were going to be the cold cards. And you know, and looking back on it, it, it was my first appreciation for the need for transparency, for centralization, for basically not allowing the big, big boys to control all the information.